the go button. There we go. go. We are go. Go. We, we have uh, gone. We have hit, we've hit the go button. We are we are doing andiamo. the No, that's we go. Well, I guess that's not wrong. That's correct. Andiamo. 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 Molto bene. Very bene. good. Bene bene. Buonasera. Um, piacere overachievers gaming a podcast. Um, come stai, mi amici? Um, uh, mi, mi, mi chiamo Domenico Galeano e, um, tu, no, um, lui, lui, lui chiami Charlie Anderson, uh, lui chiami, um, Chef Crando. That actually worked because there's an vowel at the end of it. Um, buonasera, buonasera, uh, grazie. To, thank you for coming to our podcast. How do you say you can find us? At? Hey y'all, how you doing? It's your boy Chef Crown over here. Back. You know how hard it was to do all that just then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And I that's, that's impressive. Some, I mean, I some, understood everything you said. I felt so pretty good about it. I ain't got front. I was super impressive. I wish I could. No, I, I, I can try it in Japanese now if you want. I I don't really know how to. Do that I need to learn Japanese. Japanese. I need, you know. Actually, Konnichiwa is correct because it is the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, all, a smart, I'm a cultured man. Yeah. All I can pretty I, much say is uh, Tokyo Eki wa Toko Desu ka, which just means we're Tokyo Station. You would, one would think you with love, the amount you of love anime. going to those. You have those like saying. Like, I do have the, the sayings. What is the other silly thing you had in Italian ones? Non ci sono zeus or makati clivicino. And you say it so fast and mumbling, it makes me funnier. Uh, Okay, you could, you could, do, the real, you could do the real ones. My wife hates that. That's all I know. What's up, everybody? No, Welcome skip, to I already the... did all that in Italian. Just go right to where you can find oh, us. Oh, okay, fine. I did it all, baby. Go into it. I'm going into it again, because I'm going to edit this shit. <laughs> Wait, you, you better keep that in. That was funny. Oh, I am. It's going to be the preamble. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Overachievers Gaming Podcast. I am your host, Vash, joined, as always, by the one, the only, the Italian deli extraordinaire Signore himself. Pastrami. Signore oh, wait, Pastrami. I'm changing that. Wait, that's funny. Wait, how do I change my name of this? <laughs> Signor, no, you're, you're, Signor Pastrami. Oh, you can't? I thought you could. You, you can. I don't. I actually don't know where it used to be. Anyway, um, <laughs> as and as well as the uh, the chef, I got stuck in traffic, Crando, uh, to grab some McDonald's. Um, Bro, I didn't want McDonald's. Did you get Taco Bell stuff? No, I got McDonald's. He, but he got he got. Stuck I went out to McDonald's. go get subs from this place called the Spadas, but like the street was blocked off, like three blocks ahead of it. No way, I'm gonna park. Go, no, so your boy had to just take a little pivot, a little skirt, skirt, little skirt, little skirt, skirt. We're good. Anyway, skirt. Anyway, uh, you can find us on Instagram at OG.podcast or Twitter's or Achievers P. Our website is OG Podcast at FM, where we get this episode and every episode where we're talking about what we're playing, what we're looking forward to, and a little bit of gaming news. This week is. What? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. So, um... <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, there's some. There, we're back again. This I was week off. was um, Charlie's also... back. My boy Trondo's yeah. back. Scarlet 151 came out for Pokemon, so your boy spent way too much money on Pokemon cards. Tight, tight. Uh, they announced yeah, how's the, that? How's that? How's that going for you? Not good, Rondo. Um, <laughs> not good. <laughs> I mean, well, well, well it depends funny. on what perspective you're asking me from. Are you asking me from my wallet side or from the All, side overall, of me, overall. The, the collector? Overall, well, me the collector, I'm I'm enamored. I'm I'm absolutely through the roof, I'm happy with everything I acquired, everything I pre-ordered. Came off without a hit. Well, that's not true. Well, we all know, we all know you're not supposed to pre-order anything. So, well, I did, and guess what? I, there is a whole fucking fiasco of a story with me and pre-ordering at GameStop. But you know what? I feel like I'm gonna save the people that from that story because at the end of the day, we all know who won in that one, and it was me. Because you know, GameStop can put you through the ringer. But you know but, but, what? You know, the persistence, 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 and patience. And not shitting on people is key, right? 
Um, I guess, yeah. That's key. But yeah, yeah, the the wallet side of me absolutely hates me right now. But uh, you know, I don't care because I am having fun with it. Uh, the the girl that I've been hanging out with, she's been having fun opening cards with me, and uh, you know people that i hang out with on discord and for a while they all are having fun so the set that just came out is actually just the original 151 and so like from like our back like our day of collecting pokemon so the, OG. Like these, the og yeah so like opening these cards actually so like you know these other sets of cards i was buying it's like you're opening cards and they're just like dude names that you feel like came were generated by chat gbt you know straight up like they just like <laughs> Some random ass Pokemon that looks like nothing, you know, except for these, I'm actually collecting ones that I'm familiar with. So it's, just, I have a whole slew of them in my living room and I'm having a blast pro going through them and collecting. But um, I actually am also really interested in. So what I came to find out is that One Piece, which I know you all are familiar, familiar with, has a trading card game, which apparently is absolutely massive in North America. I don't America. know what One Piece is. It's the anime. You Yo, know what One Piece is. The you anime. know, I think it's stupid. He's, no, I know. I know when Charlie's fucking with you because he makes a dumb face. We'll see a tray over here. Which is, <laughs> he he makes his face. He does. He does this. You ready? Look. No, I'm. I'm did, dead did, serious. Did I you don't hear a tray now by any chance? I did. He walked yes. in and was just like, "What the fuck is this dude talking about?" No, Anyways, but seriously, I don't know what one, one Piece is. Yeah. So seriously, there's a there's a anime, an anime of One Piece. That's one of the biggest anime in the world, easily. Like. Not debatably, it just is factually. Wow. And uh Meow. Yeah. He's he's up, you know. Uh but yeah, there, there's a trading card game for it that just came out about a year ago. So like Why one punch popular man? down here. What's that? It's like one punch man. No. One piece has been around since like How have you never heard of One Piece actually? I I haven't watched it, but I know One Piece. Like, yeah, I've heard like, of it. Anyway, continue. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. So, anyways, there's a trading card game for it. Uh, I went to the store. So, to was there a trading? There's a trading card game. That's it. Just came out like recently. For what? For what? So, for fuck you guys. <laughs> All right, I already know what you're doing. So, anyways, I went to the local game store to go pick up my game or my pick up my Pokemon 151 pre-order, and there were like Are you pre-ordered almost a 80 cards? people. Yes, I pre-ordered cards. There were like almost 80 people that. Yeah, you're gonna troll me. I'm gonna keep going. But anyway, so there were like almost 80 people there playing this One Piece game, and I was just like, what the hell? Like this blew me away. So, anyways, I am more or less like you guys with Warhammer, or like Ashley with Warhammer. I'm about to get in to one piece like playing the game because there like there's go. actually a whole scene around it and i'm i'm, I'm pretty interested. i I, th I love one piece like i'm a huge one piece fan so uh what, what happens if you have more than one piece though shot two then, piece? You have, oh, then you have okay. two pieces so you can only okay. play with one card you, you can only play with one card that's correct and it's you only card. have one piece yeah you, you can play with one card so cool another card game tight I'm just trolling. See, he's trolling me, so I'm trolling him back. And then that yeah, creates the, the, yeah, who, the, created who, the awkward who, silence. Who who trolled for who the true the hung who too trolled tired. me? Who's first? the troller or versus the trolley? Who's the, the trolley? trolley? I'm the trolley. Who really who came dummies. first? The troller or the trolley? A little bit of chicken the egg kind of thing there. You know A little bit saying? of water under the bridge kind of deal. You know? Yeah. You know what I'm really, That's a good question. You know what I'm saying? Uh how has Pokemon collecting been going? Is you having fun? I'm having a blast. Actually, y'all keep talking for a second. I'll go get some of the cool ones real quick. Or we could just be he just, just <laughs> okay, pieces he's, out. Okay, cool. He just goes. He it's just like, is gone. Peace. Uh, See ya. That's funny. Oh, what are we yeah, talking about? Oh, yeah, we're supposed to be talking about video games, I guess. Late start today. I. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie was out of town. I was. I went to training, I went to jujitsu. And that got out a little later than I went. And then I had to go to gro Well, actually, I was only really late because of the grocery store. I had to stop beforehand to get groceries for food today. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just a little late start. But, you know, I don't mind it. I'm very sleepy today. Uh, I got home very late from a fight last night. I'm tired. I'll explain that when Josh gets back. I'll explain a little bit about that fight. But sleepy boy. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's a rainy day. Rainy here. day, dude. Black day rainy, today. Rainy week. I did. It, it, so I was on my way to jujitsu and I... I was like it wasn't raining and it said it was gonna rain in like 15 minutes so like, yeah, i'll take a city bike over like it, it's like a either a 15 20 minute city bike ride or like a 40 minute subway ride it's like oh perfect I'm, I'm gonna smoke this i'm gonna get it right before the rain hits again dude i i clicked i got the city bike i took like two pedals and just 
<laughs> dude, I got fucking soaked. Didn't have an umbrella. I was soaked. So I, I just like biked down to the nearest dock, hopped on the subway and was just soaking wet. Uh, and then, yeah, it was, it was hilarious. I got got so hard. All right, let's see some of these Pokemans, as my mom will say. I can't see because it's all pixelated. So. Yeah, it's a little glary and pixelated. That's a Mew. I know, I know a Mew when I see one, though. Is it still? Well, well you're you're coming the... through pixelated. I don't know why you're you're you're. Uh, well, I don't know what to do then. I hate my. Internet. You're uh, what's it called? Comcast is just saying. Nope. Is it Comcast? Is that who you have? Is yeah. it local? Who do you have? I mean, it's a cool Mew. I know Mew when I see yeah, one. Yeah, cool we can card. we can see it. No, we got the restart. Genome hacking. Interesting. This are you playing? The, are you playing with them at all? Are you mostly just collecting right now? Mostly collecting. So yeah. That was one. This was the. This is probably like the third most valuable. Is that card. Erica? Yeah, Erica's. Invitation. Whoa, she's still in. The, she's still in Pokemon. She's one of the well, OG this is, uh, gym, gym, this, uh, this is the OG one fifty one, right? Oh, right, that's what you're saying. Okay, I understand. So that. like, I got like the art rare of Tangela. I don't know if you can yeah. see it or not. The glare is really bad. Sorry, it's glare a little bad. But listen, don't take it out. We you know we we understand. We respect the the. Is that nine tails? Yo, these are tight. The art of these are really cool. It's the art is almost like a mix between the old art and like a modern art, pulled, which is of nice. Course I pulled two of the Mews, which is great because so you got Mew too. I got Mew too. I can put them together. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Continue. No, no, I can't. I can't. I don't know what to do with myself. What point. do you mean you don't know what to do with yourself? You're the oh. host of this podcast. You should always know what to do with yourself. I mean, I know, but oh my goodness. I think Ash Don is just, just over like, here shaking his head. I'm over here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go, guys. Actually, I'm I gotta go. off my Pokemon cards. No, Pokemon's cool, dude. Pokemon's tight. I'm a, Pokemon's cool shit. I will so, always be a fan of Pokemon, even if I'm not doing anything with well, Pokemon in any way. So, like, each, each pack you open, there's like a little code card at the back, right? And you can use that to redeem one pack, like a digital pack of cards through their TCG online they a, game. They have online game? Oh, cool. Yeah. It's, nice. not, it's, it's, not, it's not as well developed as, you know, like Hearthstone or any of the other, you know, like actual card games. Yeah. Even though I say actual card games, Pokemon TCG is massive. But, um, yeah, right. which is why you would think they would have a more fleshed out game, but they don't. Um. Like on my phone, my dude, my phone, like the, the the app, dude, it makes my phone feel like it's it becomes nine hundred degrees. Like my phone, like I like it's too hot to hold in my hand when the game is running, on it. Like it's weird. Um. Anyways, uh, I have redeemed quite a few of the cards and tried the online thing, and I get my ass kicked repeatedly because I have no idea how to play the game. But um, it seems fun. I'm more into the collecting aspect. I'm ready sure. to go play some uh, some Baldur's Gate with Charlie today. Charlie and Mike. Ooh, and the Baldur's Gate boys. Are we are we, are we playing today, Mike? Uh, Tr uh, Charlie, I'm probably about to call you. Yeah, every I'm down, Charlie. Perfect. The Baldur's Gate boys. Good. That's cool. That's really yeah. cool. I yeah, wish dude, I was I've games. been like itching to play Baldur's Gate really badly. My, like Toronto and I got really far. I think we're like right about to hit Act Three in the game, and he went on his yeah. vacation. Yeah, no, we've been we've been we were really into this game. I mean, we're we're doing like every side quest before we get to the next act. <sighs> But uh, we spent quite a bit of time. Um, game's super fun. I'm actually really excited to play with with Charlie here. Um, oh, have you guys played that? that uh, Charlie, did you try that Final Fantasy VII game? Is it what's it called? Chained Echo. Oh fuck, what's the name? Of that? The the mobile version. Yeah, I absolutely yeah. love it. I know you're not the biggest fan of it, but. Yeah, that's like the the mobile gotcha game, right? That's out. That's yeah, I can't, yeah, I don't know what the name of it. Echo Chains or something like that. I don't know, but I love it. I think it's a great. If you're looking for a fun little free mobile gotcha, uh, gotcha style like whatever RPG, it's the shit. And it's like the it's Final Fantasy VII story extended kind of. I don't yeah, know. It, it's a bunch of the different stories and things that they that have been released and whatnot. So they they use a little bit of the the, the art style from like the most remastered games. Combined with like some of the original FF7 um, art and pixels and whatnot, so it's pretty. I mean, it's, it was cool. It's just like I don't know. I got too many games I'm playing right now, so it's like I can't even. I, I can't dedicate yeah. time. I think it's the opposite of too many games. Oh, I just meant like mobile games. So, oh sure, well, look yeah. at you. So I also really want to. You're try also like a mobile gamer or something over here. 
I'm I'm becoming a TCG player. I'm like really I want to try out this One Piece game. I really want to try out the oh, new Disney cool. Lorcana game. Um, I definitely. I Enter. actually think I might pull back a little bit from the Pokemon and dabble a little no, bit you more. Let, you can't you can't let the TikToks go to waste, my friend. Dude, no, no, no. no. I'm, I'm Pokemon still, ain't going nowhere. All right. Yeah, I got I got two thousand dollars in Pokemon cards down there to open up over the next. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. God knows how long. All right, uh, all right, buddy. I'm starting to get. You're do, starting to get do we have worse to have than a, me do we with have cameras. Talk? Yeah. I, intervention. No, because the funny thing is, is that it, it, you guys know as well as I do that if you actually create a side hustle for yourself for the pure in, intention of funding your hobbies and you have yeah. it completely separate from your actual necessities, then it's not a problem. Now, if I were out here like you know, sell in my vintage video game collection and go buy more Pokemon cards, then yes, I would want you guys to call a local, uh, you know, helpline and get me some help. But I'm, I'm not even remotely close to that point. 1-800-POKEMON-GO <laughs> yeah. to the hospital. Yeah. 1-800-MY-FRIEND-HAS-A-POKEMON-ADDICTION.COM. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pokemon no, not, Go to the that. health clinic. Pokemon. <laughs> I, <laughs> we, I, listen, I could, I truthfully, I could have bought more and I didn't. So, I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, he, like, he, it, he has some control. You right? have limits. Yeah. 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 If I had spent $2,200, you, did, you, you then didn't I buy really all the cards. You left over. one pack for someone to see I because left it two, was the lower one. Look, look, I only pre ordered <laughs> <You left> two. <laughs> <laughs> I left two poster collections at the GameStop down in Hollywood. Okay, I oh, wanted good, to take all of them. Oh, good, because you took like three of them. Fine. I took four of them. Okay, I took four <laughs> of the six. Um, amazing, <laughs> amazing. I, hey, dude, hey. you're you're just exceeding my my jokes right now. So, no, like, man, I'm, look, I'm joking. It's, you're like it's it's badass saying, because like the like like okay, so like I did you're I, like exceeding I got, my jokes. I didn't really want to like get <laughs> caught up in the whole like concept of like going out and buying cards at Walmart and then selling them for more money so like what i'm more or less doing is buying stuff like sealed product and i want to like hold on to it for a really long time so this one i legitimately you couldn't buy booster boxes of this set that came out like the best like right pack item you could buy were called booster bundles and they were like these little boxes with six in them dude what's going on with that shillelagh is it scalpers like there's yeah. also that, that new Disney game. Like that's, dude, the Disney Lorcana game is out I don't of control. Understand it. It's so crazy. like the girl, like that's here's the thing. Like the girl that I'm I'm hanging out with, she really she's like actually has expressed interest. Like she's like, have you ever heard about this game? Like my friend Bell is telling me about it. And she really wants to like check it out. And I'm like, I am fucking one ten thousand percent down to like check this game out, bro. I have been okay. So you can't yesterday, get them, right? yesterday when I went, so my whole game stop fiasco on Friday led me to uh, get in the car and drive to four different targets and four different Walmarts to go look for more 151 product, which I didn't really find any. Dude, the shelves were picked fucking clean, dude. There was dude, no Yu-Gi-Oh, crazy. no One Piece, no Disney or Larkana, no Pokemon cards. Every one crazy. of them were picked completely clean, dude. But yeah, no, you're right. Disney or Larkana is hot, dude. Like they're like what people are doing are, are waiting for. So the first print of the game went out and actually Big Pop MJ, who's a fan of the pod, he uh, great, great fucking Homie. dude. Um, Homie the he pod. actually uh, worked on the game and has like dude, the, the card right. game. The card game itself is beautiful. The cards are great. Have you have you slid the DMs yet? Be like, yeah, what's up? Let me get some. Of course I have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know I have. No, 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 no. He, he's cool. He and I've been he like working on some. We're working on something way different. But like, uh, it's it. You know, he can actually because his company that he works with doesn't distribute those cards, yeah, so he can't. Right. Um, yeah. but anyways, the first print hit and it, it got, it, you know, I don't know where in the whole timeline, the scalpers caught wind of it, but scalpers literally just would see it get restocked at target. Be like, let me yeah. just put the whole, every single fucking boot blister pack they have in, uh, in here, go snap a picture, put it on Facebook marketplace, triple my value done right there. Like legitimately people are paying like for a pack of cards that they're buying for like five, four or five bucks at target, they're paying 15 to 17 to $18 per pack from people. Yeah. It's sick. And, and right now there is so much demand for this game. Like the people that want to play the game can't even get the cards that they want in their decks to play the game because the scalpers are effectively just holding on to all the product. And people like me refuse to pay 
a hundred dollars for eight yeah. packs of fucking Disney Larkana cards. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not, even though the girl, I, I want to like, I wanted to like go out and find them and surprise the girl with them, you know? And so she'd be like, Oh fuck. Yeah. Like, you know? And, yeah. uh, we can like open packs together and do all that shit. But it's like, dude, I refuse to pay the scalper prices because no. if I pay, well, the you scalper can't, prices, you can't, you can't pay into it. Like you no, can't, you no. know what I mean? It, yeah. it as just much as you want to a president. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, and, and I think that, uh, the second set is coming out, but they've announced that they're doing a, um, a reprint of the first set and when it comes out like dude if, if you're if you're a fan of disney or just trading it's a different concept for a trading card game because it's not like you and i are sitting down and attacking each other for hit points yeah. it's like you're trying to stack up your uh lorcana or i don't know what the technical technical some kind of resource yeah you're trying to stack some kind of resource you're trying to build it up to a certain not, point you know that- to win the game and you attack each other with uh, like each other's monsters that are somehow like accruing this resource over time. That sounds a lot like the Digimon trading card game. Yeah, the Digimon yeah. trading card game. There's like a there's like a sliding scale above your. So if like if this is like if my screen here, well, that's right. My screen is tighter on yeah. the on the Twitch. If my screen here is like my game board, there's all your monsters and your resource and all that shit. But on top of it is a sliding scale where there's like a diamond or some shit, and you pay into your resource or something as you go into the game. It sounds similar to like that. I've never played the Digimon card game either, but it sounds. I'm very excited to try it out. I mean, keep your eyes peeled. If you're, if you're, I tell you what, if you're a friend of the pod and you see some Disney Arcana cards, I won't pay times three, but I'll pay a little bit extra to, uh, 1.25%. Yeah. Just to hook me up. I, I, I don't, I'm not trying to flip them. I want to open them up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, I want to, yeah. I want to play the game. But, uh, yeah, that's where we've gone as a, as we've evolved to as a, or excuse me, not evolved, devolved to as a society where, you know, a game comes out that people want to play and instead of, and instead of like, you know, letting people have fun with their life you know somebody's like "Ooh, i'm gonna make a quick dollar on my fellow man and uh you know go fuck him over for me to go stuff more money in my pockets radio silence but anyways um <laughs> good to see you guys uh i i am next time you go to japan i am sending you with uh with yeah a, that'll with be a, in like two months i'll be there in like Seven weeks. I think um, I think it would be cool, right? Hear me out. Again, I'll give you like for the third time this year. What to go to Japan for like the third time this year? Do you know that that's like my dream to go to Japan? And you're over there like fuck. I gotta go back for my third time this year. It's um, exhausting. Yeah, I bet, but it's still fucking cool shit. Um, I think it'd be cool if I sent you with like. $150 to just go buy random packs of cards that I don't even know what fucking era they're from or anything like that. You just pick up a pick out up because I have a store. You said you're going to Kyoto, right? Mm, maybe. I don't know. Oh, anyways, you let me know where you go and I'll find the store, but probably I think it'd be just, fun, right? Primarily probably Tokyo would be my guess. Well, then I'll check out Tokyo. Yep. I send you on a pokey quest. A pokey quest. <laughs> That's funny. Got to catch them all. Got to give you something. Give you something to do while you're over there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, have, want, I have, I have nothing doing, else. To yeah. Do. You want to? Yeah. No. I'm just I know, going there. I just sit you... in the squ- in the town square and be like, That's I'm here. I'm Gosh, here. give me something to do. Hey, excuse me. Can you point me in the direction of your favorite teriyaki restaurant, please? Excuse me. Can you in point me in the local direction of the Poke Stop, please? Uh, Where is the nearest some... McDonald's? Actually, hilariously enough, McDonald's in Japan is fire. It I actually not is. Eaten. McDonald's I've just seen videos. McDonald's like you want to get that scar. I should. I, there's no McDonald's station. I don't know why I said words <laughs> McDonald's station. <laughs> you're saying the only thing you fucking know, you doofus. That's hilarious. That's not all. That's not the only thing I know. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Prove it. Show me. Ga, so what, what kind of games you guys been playing, huh? Come on. I've not been playing any games. I'm over here talking about my Pokemon Dami, shit for like 30 minutes. Dami's been a very busy but bo- Well, I've been busy both with work and then I have a lot of personal stuff going on. I started doing Italian lessons, which has been very fun. So every Thursday night I'm Italian and then still trying to play a lot, bunch of Warhammer. And then, um, I just telling Josh before the podcast started I, last night, there was an amateur fight and one of our guys from a gym was on the main card for the, some amateur championship, which is hilarious because like the fact they even have championships in the, in the amateurs, it's like so worthless. It's like giving the fucking, yeah, it's just fucking stupid. But it, it was for it was a main event, and so we've been. It's just been like a camp, getting ready for him to fight. He unfortunately lost, which is a big bummer. He could have won that fight, but he got caught. And that's what ha- you know. That's the that's the game of fighting. But I was I was explaining to Josh. I was a, a cornerman, so the your your corner when you fight 
right? You have a, their main teacher, who's the one mostly just speaking and talking, um, and like directing the fighter. You know, they're they're watching what the uh, the opponent's doing and and directing from there. Like uh, his his jabs, he slips left when he jabs really hard, counter, blah blah blah. Um, so there's our teacher, Professor Roger Mamadov. He's the teacher of our school. He's he's like our the main instructor that's directing, and then. There's the second person that's there with water and ice. So in between rounds, you you ice up your, your the fighter so that they're uh, to cool down their muscles a little bit, and like kind of bring them down. They're like a little um, inflamed from getting punched and blah blah blah, and give them some water. And third person is there to really just hang out. I I run the um, like you got, it's good to have a stopwatch going because you can't see how long the the round is going. So like my job was just to have a stopwatch going. Let our teacher know, like, there's a minute left, there's 30 seconds left, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's, like, what a corner is. And so I, I was cornered, been helping him get ready for this. Um, this He's now three and one, which is a bummer, but he's still killing it. Like, still a very good fighter. And super good, dude. Has a very good uh, it's career. Better than four. Definitely could have beat this guy. It's, like, kind of, a, like, that's it's disappointing on his end, for sure. Like, he feels very disappointed, but at the same time, it's, like, whatever. It's amateur. Here's the thing. You could be 300 and zero in amateur fighting. Doesn't fucking matter. The second you go pro, your amateur record is gone. Doesn't it's done. It's like being the best kid in kindergarten. Like yeah, sick, it's like dude. getting a gold medal in the Special Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's also a, a, it's actually like a, a wonderful it's like getting thing a platinum to have trophy happened, Charlie. It's not the stat is a bad comparison. It's like getting a platinum trophy in a PlayStation. I would 5 love game. to see. I would love to see you try to even go against an athlete the Special Olympics, Charlie. You, you would, would get smoked. I would get, I would you get actually, they would, would dust me. I would they would dust me. I got more, any of us. Or I got more back problems than you could possibly imagine. So they could do any. They could definitely do more shit than I could. Dumb joke. Uh, you fucking But um, I didn't say anything. Not, I know you didn't. It's this. I know. Oh, I'm, I'm it's disappointed, Charlie. Over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. So it's like I'm disappointed in Charlie. Disappointed, Charlie. Shame. Uh, Ding. Shame. Hit the shame yeah. bell on his ass. You know, I just need you to go ahead and uh, I need a Twitter apology. After Guys, hold this. on. I gotta. I gotta go. Some return some videotapes. I'll be right back. Shut the. Fu- what does that even mean? Uh, be kind. Rewind. Be kind. Rewind. Uh, yeah. So that was last night, and so of course it's in fucking. Kentucky, Long Island. Long Island fucking sucks. If you don't know this, here's here's where the here's where my rant comes in. Josh is usually a rant. Here's my rant. If you don't know this, Long Island fucking All sucks. Right, I'm, Long I'm Island back. is the worst place. You're gonna get ever. us demonetized well, on YouTube. My God. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Are we even are we even monetized? No. <laughs> uh, Long Island sucks. Well, what do we get demonetized for? Weed. Who's smoking weed? Right, you're just, you're just uh, it's nicotine vaping. Who's dude? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! So I was in Long Island last night. Long it was Island, the worst. It was the worst promotion I've ever been a part of, and I've you know, I've been in the fight game for a long time now, which I'm very happy about. But like last night was bad. Mm. And uh, we were in Long Island to make it even funnier. So it's all just fucking shitty meatheads in the audience like fucking punch them suck my dick like like they don't even know they have no idea what they're doing or talking about mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so we, I, kick. I didn't get home till one eight, like one thirty or so Round last night kick. yeah right kick, exactly uh and so yeah the leg. Like, but so uh i started playing starfield but then i just stopped because of just time which mm-hmm. i want to i want to pick it back up um but also i have a warhammer tournament this weekend so I've been trying to finish painting the rest of my models that aren't painted. So yeah, not too much video games for Dami right now. I'm just busy. Busy boy. Yeah, I've been so busy I didn't even get a chance to edit the last podcast we recorded. So that's oh a whoopsie my on God my those. end. Saying, oh my God, those. <laughs> oh my God, those. What is going on? What is going on? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my God, those. I'm um, unhinged, dude. I don't, I'm the Florida man, Florida man's Pokemon, dude. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, true. I'm assuming the new, the new true. persona. Have yeah. you been digging so, the videos, um, by the way? They're cute. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta subscribe and actually open up my app. Not, not. Listen, I'm gonna give you a piece of feedback. This, this has nothing to do with your voice. I do think the first video is, I think, the way that it had like the, um, like announcer voice, like the AI voice, whatever the fuck it is. I actually think that works because it goes with the lo-fi kind of chill. No, I agree. Because it's just I agree. A straight. It's just a well, straight. No, so I, 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 w- I was trying things out. And I, I, it's really funny you say that because 
the one time. So like I'm in I'm in a phase where I'm trying a lot yeah, of things try, out yeah, all. with yeah. my TikTok because I'm in the process of opening a digital marketing agency with my my boss slash business partner, and we're doing it for like we're going to be representing dental the dental side of things, right? Because that's what our our market is. So, anyways. <clears throat> I'm trying to like get a lot of experience and learn a lot through my own channel yeah. for my professional reasons. Yeah. And what I, a funny thing I learned from the other day was, is I did two videos. One was uh, my friend and I opening the elite trainer box and I filmed us like opening the case that I bought where there was like 10 trainer boxes in it. And then I opened up each item and like, you know, I didn't say a word and that one had like a ton of review or a ton of hits. I got a ton of friend requests from it, all kinds of shit. And then the video I did where I'm actually opening the packs, which you would think would get more hits, right? Uh, I actually did a voiceover on that one. Yeah. Bombed, dude. And I don't know if it's the voiceover or if it's, I don't, I don't know, but like, that's the only, uh, <clears throat> uncommon denominator that I can think just, of. Just delete it redo it with the AI voiceover. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's fine. I, I don't care. I have, I have so much footage. But it also to, could be a good way to, it could be a good way to, um, to like kind of test that, right? Like you look at what you had like now, like how many right, views right. Robert has and then delete it redo it with the voiceover and then put it up and see if it gets better. And truly, well, like I do have, be. I do have a ton of footage right now. Like we opened up like probably like eight products last night and I filmed all of it. So yeah. I have to make a video for all of that stuff first, because that, that's my whole goal is to like, kind of just film everything I'm going through and opening. So sure. that I'm kind of like curating and documenting it to a certain extent. And yeah. uh, it's definitely way more enjoyable to open cards with other people watching. And it's definitely more enjoyable with my friend Sierra with me because she kind of gets a little excited when she sees something cool. Even though, like, yeah. I know it's not like the most valuable thing. She's just like, oh, shit, that looks super cool. Ooh, shiny. You know? So, yeah, shiny. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, just another tight derailed conversation back to cards again. But, you know, nothing wrong with DMA. It's technically, it, 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 it's, it's gaming. All, it's, it's a part of gaming. Yeah. It's a yeah. part of gaming. It's, it's just, exactly. you know, real life gaming as opposed to virtual gaming. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But we're overachievers, been, right? And I am yeah. certainly, I certainly overachieved at the pre order game with this, this set that just came out. We all know right you never pre order. Well, I did. And I'm glad I did. Well, there you go. At least you got it's the only reason that I got the amount of shit that I did. Oh, well, that's true. That's uh, pre-ordering that stuff is a little bit different than pre-ordering a video game, I guess. So, but. I definitely am not pre-ordering video games. Although, don't hate on me, I did pre-order a copy of Super Mario RPG. Physical copy? A physical copy. I wanted a physical copy. From your GameStop? From my game. You is are new not. One? You have not learned your lesson, have you? No. Nope. I never will. No, that's why I'm still 38 and single. <laughs> It's all Video good. games. Yeah. Uh, I've just been sticking with the mobile stuff just because I haven't really had a chance. Although I did finish um, I did finish Final Fantasy 16 yesterday. Oh. You did? Which was excellent. You mean you like um, you like beat the game or you platinum? I, be I beat the well, I beat the game, did all the things. There there's the, the last did all thing. The things. I did all the things minus there's two trophies left for me to get the platinum. One is beat the game of the hardest difficulty setting, Gross. which is going to take me 30 hours. Gross. Um, and the other one is to max out all my abilities, which is essentially going to be the same time. So it's essentially if I play it one more time, it'll be fine. But like I, I literally just spent like 70 hours beating the game over the Gross. course of, you know, since June. So mm. it's just like it was a really good story. Um, it's a contender for my game of the year. Ooh. So. Oh, it's a big contender. For game of the year. It's just oh. really good. I got a little teary eyed at the end. Like oh. it, it, it got me. So, but okay, it was very, okay. it was very good. I I liked what how they changed it up with like all the different um, the summons, which are called icons in that one. Um, they're it's cool. It was a really cool story. I liked what they were doing with it. It got a little weird, but I was like wondering where we were taking this. But uh, Final Fantasy, dude, Final Fantasy always gets fucking weird. It's not possible for Final Fantasy to not be weird in some way, dude. I'm like, gonna truly. save that game for the next. Uh, next pandemic or whatever and i'll never forget the first final Fantasy game i played was 10 right oh yeah and i remember with, just, uh titus titus and titus Monka, right yeah and yeah. that fucking game i remember just being like okay like weird answer technology like we got yeah. some kind of like baddies going on oh there's some people that like technology some people don't whatever yeah and you get going on it's like oh this giant monster is his father cool 
okay, what the fuck <laughs> does any of this mean? What? Oh, technology yeah. is actually all over the place. Like, what the? F- I was just like, what is this? It just, it's always weird. None of it ever makes sense. The uh, the mini game in ten was the best part of. 10, oh yeah, the the opinion. ball, like the the underwater. Yeah, yeah that was pretty much. Yeah, that was... I don't know why I can't. Remember. I gotta look. It up. Hydro something, right? Gosh, no, it's like yeah. Look it up. I know what you're talking about. Now, did you play the redo? Like they made like a, a no. blitz ball. That's there you go. Blitz, blitz ball. ball. Yeah, dude. Blitz ball was the shit. Yeah, we man. we hate technology, but let's just have this giant technological sphere <laughs> of water. Yeah, yeah. Dude, my Underwater friend, for my friend Trondo, it, like he 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 would get to he would he would start the game up, get to that part. And just play that for like the next like thirty to forty yeah. hours. He what wouldn't even play fuck? the game. And uh, it was fun. I it's, wow. it's also, a, it's Sora a vi- is a complete ripoff of Titus. Wow, I could totally see that. I didn't even Holy think about shit. that. But yeah. Oh my god, look at Titus. That is Sora from the fucking Kingdom Hearts trilogy. Yo, the first Kingdom Hearts was untouchable. I'm sorry. Fire game. You can't, you can't fire fuck with game. That game. Never played you it. Cannot. Fu- Dude, do yourself a favor. Uh, they need to. Well, they I mean, need to. I, they need I, to remaster that game. They need that. That's that's actually a game that's worthy of a remaster, in my opinion. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I doubt it holds up as an adult because you're. Just Although like, they do some dumb it's shit. Pretty kitty. They t- they do some dumb shit to like turn it into like some hack and slash bullshit game instead of it being the turn based RPG that I loved it as. But, um, yeah, that game was the truth when it came out. And it was so hard to track down too because it was a Disney RPG and it was like a dark Disney RPG and nobody wanted to like, it was just back then RPG games were not hard or not easy to find. Oh. Fair enough. Yeah. Never got into it. I've, I've always heard good back things. Back in my day before the games. internet, before we could just pull up the Amazon and buy or pull up the mark, Xbox marketplace and buy whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> Dude, uh, for real though, the shit is is interesting to me. That um, I, I was I was in GameStop the other, the other day buying my Pokemon, and this guy was buying a Switch, and he's like, "Man, he's like, I, I, w- I wish the PlayStation would have just like made a better version of the PSP." And I was thinking, about it, I'm like, "Why haven't they done that? Like, the PSP was the shit, right? Like, why have they never made a modern day version of the PSP?" I, I bet you it has to do with just the the. A porting games to it, they probably don't like the feel capacity like capacity of the of the. But then I also feel like between the Switch and like the Steam Deck, they're probably just like, why compete? Truly, I bet you were <sighs> just like, why compete? It was. I just I loved it. I thought it was. I thought it was always. I thought to this day, I still think it's the best. The best handheld console. Oh, also remote play. Them. Stan just said probably because of remote play. Like, wh- who the fuck cares about putting money and time effort into a PSP mm. when remote play exists? True. That's why they're making that whole remote play device. That's a good point. Specifically, it's a good point. Wait, what's the device? From play the device. Good point. Yeah, they're yeah. They so I suppose that's just pipe. The I, mean, I suppose that's just this is pipe dreams as an as an old uh, an OG gamer. I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I might, I might. Oh look yeah, that. dude. I mean, this is the P. This is the PSP right here, dude. What is it? The the it's a remote play device. Yeah, I posted in like when it uh, when it was announced in the OG chat. You know, the things you guys. It look. It looks kind of like a switch. It's essentially it's like a seven inch screen with yeah, the PS dude. controller split in half. It it's pretty much a switch. Yeah, it pretty much is. Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay, so I suppose this is exactly what it is for the most part. Yeah, but, but it, can you play? The, do you still, have to have Wi Fi though? Yeah, there's nothing stored locally. It's just yeah, so that's Wi-Fi. The, that's the difference. Is that yeah? Maybe they're testing it out to see what it feels like and if it's yeah, gonna maybe, be maybe fine. It is. That's it. You know, it's a good point. Maybe it is. Maybe it is their their nice. Maybe it's only two hundred dollars. I it think is. right. It's it's pretty affordable. Did you guys hear what Trey said? <laughs> A tray was like this is bullshit. Jason, this is bullshit. This I is want bullshit. my fucking PSP. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> he's dude. He's he's like his dad. He just he just wants to go off about something, you know. Yeah, dude. He's all yeah. the got, he wants to go got off right meow. Right meow. Um, but ha- so, are you all familiar with? I mean, I was making the joke earlier, but like, you're familiar with Pokemon Go? Have you played yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Do you know that Niantic made a Monster Hunter now? Oh, I've, I think which I is heard a version, about this. Which is kind of like that. I was never a Monster Hunter fan. Yeah. But I started, picked it up and it's been quite fun. What do you, what is, so, so is this, uh, well, uh, what's the game same con- concept? Same concept as Pokemon Go. There's like monsters and everything um, that are around. There's like resources and you have to hunt them and you have to find quests and whatever and you get stronger and so on and so forth. 
But the only way that you can hunt the monsters is just walk around and hunt them. And I was like, this is exactly what I wanted from Pokemon Go, but I wasn't, a, for some reason, I just wasn't super into, like, the trainer battles or whatever. So, or the gym battles. And uh, these are just, like, it's it's similar. It's the same concept. If, you, if you're familiar with Pokemon Go and you want to try something that's a little bit different and you like Monster Hunter, I would recommend give it a go. It's kind of fun. I actually it's been, I'm check it it's out. Been, it's been like I just been going on walks with the dogs and been doing that to kind of catch some you know fight some monsters that have been around my area and it's yeah. been good. So didn't really get a chance to do. I should have done that while I was in um, Europe, but I didn't get a chance to do so. But it's, it's still fun to do. So um, is it? On, I believe it is on both mobile platforms, Stan. But I think it's yeah. Just it's called Monster Hunter now, um, and it's um, it. Because I had pre-ordered it, and I was like, "Oh yeah, this came this game came out recently," and I never got a chance to actually give it a go. So it, it just came out. I want to say like a week ago. Um, mm. Yeah, check it out and see if it's there. But yeah, other than that, I'm still playing the Lord of the Rings game with Trondo and also the Eternal Evolution. So that's really all I have going on. You've been playing the Eternal Evolution game for a while. Yeah, well, I'm a content creator with the, with them now. So and I just, <laughs> but I haven't really, I haven't have really, really done any content. Create, no, I haven't had time to do anything. So, like, the, I, the thing that that I like about that is, um, is solely based on how much effort effort you put in. Like, their reward system is like if you if you're a content creator and you put some content out, like they give you rewards in game, but it's based on how much stuff you do. So, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. So, and I put zero into it, so I've got zero out of it. So, it makes sense. Fair, but, yeah. But I'm I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting into Baldur's Gate three with you guys and um. What I'm really stoked for um, is, uh, I guess, right after Comic-Con, which we're stoked to have you up, Josh, if you're physically able to, to attend, is um, the new Assassin's Creed Mirage comes out. Oh, yeah. So I will be planting, putting lots of games. Lots of games? Lots of hours into I'll that be game. I'll be putting lots of games. Into that hours. Yes. Dami, what's like the big game that you're looking forward to? Is there, are there any games you're looking forward to? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, this, this, <clears throat> so they say this fall, or no, they said this winter now is Space Marine 2. That's yeah. the third person uh, Warhammer. That looks pretty cool. Uh, shooter. Is that the one that, was, that somebody World linked the trailer guys, right? for? In, yeah, that's yeah. one where they, oh, it's like yeah, wars, dude, where waves awesome. and waves of the, the uh, Tyranids, which are like the space bugs. Um, yeah. So that, um, I was just telling Charlie, I think before we start, officially started, there, uh, yes, Dan, it is multiplayer. You could play like co op type of deal, I think. Um, there's a new expansion to Guild Wars 2, and apparently it's made the game like astronomically better. Like, there's you know, that, that happens all the time, but it's like a new DLC or expand, it's new expansion. And apparently, it's like really good. Hmm. Like, a lot of people are flocking back to it like hard. Interesting. Um, which is a game. You know, me and Charlie you, used to play a ton have of. Always talked about it on and off. I've, I've, you, you yeah. play for free. You know, you can play. Yeah. It, yeah. I think the expansion may cost money, but also like whatever. You know, uh, like uh, yeah, I'm looking at it now. What is it? Oh, this looks kind of fourth expansion of. of oh no, it went away. Hold on. It is called <laughs> Secrets of the Obscure. Interesting. Yeah, people are like going back to it like nuts. Um, I mean. So I, I might give that a shot soon. Do it. Just check it out. Do it. Like very casually though, like not dump a lot. No. Go all Time in, dude. Do it. Oh, Go start like three boxing characters. <laughs> Go all in, dude. Um, but I don't not many two other games right now that I uh, I'm like really trying to to um, that I'm even like thinking about. Really, I've just been like, yeah, really busy with uh, work and and really at Warhammer too. Warhammer. Enough that yeah, I haven't really thought about many other games. Truthfully, bro, I get yeah. it. I'm like all about these card games now. I don't know. I totally, get, I totally get the Warhammer. The cardboard thing. crack over here. He's yeah. in. Yeah, I got the cardboard crack. You like to paint your figurines. You know, we're both we're both addicts of our own. Oh, oh speaking of uh, speaking of the, the bringing things back to full light. Oh, I was telling um, actually before we started going is I've actually been playing a little bit of um, a resurgence of oh, a yeah. Warhammer Age of Reckoning, which is called Return of Reckoning, which is the old school game that got canned by EA. Or the service shut down in 2013, and something like the fans of it brought it back and have been, you know, essentially been developing new content, new things. Uh, I mean, it's old school graphics, like 2009, 2010 graphics. So it was made by the same people who made like Dark Age Camelot, which is my personal favorite yeah. MMO of all time. And that is, um, 
I was playing it or this, you know, before we were waiting for the pod, and I was just like, this brings back some real nostalgia. But it's it's free if you look if you look it up. On uh, there's um, Return of Reckoning or R O R. You can you just start, start, uh, search for Warhammer R O R, and you'll find out a way to do it. And like they don't take donations, they don't do it. You know, they just completely manage it themselves for free. Um, and it's I think a thousand pl- people playing it, but I'm totally I'm down to give it a go. Um, and <laughs> so you are. with that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll try it. I'll play it till I think like next level seventy in that game. Um, but I like the fact, like one of the things that really annoyed me with that game initially is like every single time you leveled up, you have to go back to the trainer. And the one thing that I liked is like, oh, all my skills automatically just pop up whenever I learn new, whenever I level up. So it's yeah. cool. But that said, um, I kind of want to try out this Guild Wars because I fucking love Guild Wars. Hmm. That game, that game was just so. That game hooked me Uh-oh. so yeah. many Uh-oh. years. Uh oh, you two are about to go, I, down I, a, go down that rabbit hole together. Yeah, probably. well, I, lo- I looked in. I looked up my account. So like, um, oh, no, He's I'm saying like I haven't installed it. it. Well, huh? it's like the the last two the last two expansions were um, End of Dragons and Secrets of Scroll. That's the new one. Yeah, that I haven't she's downloading um, it right now. I'm actually curious if it if it on the website mentions your. Yeah, it'll tell you what you have um, unlocked. Like I had the other ones, um, but uh, twenty five bucks for expansion four. That's not. That's actually not bad. And the base game is free. The only way, like, it's a free to play game. One hundred percent. You just you you essentially pay for the expansions, and then you can buy crystals for um, uh, cosmetics, which I really like um, how they do that. So. All right. So, am I downloading the game plan right now? Maybe. I definitely am. <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. I don't want to. Of course you are. Of course you are. It's okay, dude. Listen, dude. Hey, they announced uh, Phase 4. Wrath of the Lich King, or I mean, uh, Ice Crown Citadel is coming, like, I think it's uh, the third week of October. I don't know know what that means. Well, basically. Experience all new flexibility and combat customization thanks to several potent system updates. Relic augments your build with special additional effects. I'm very curious as to what this is, so. Well, also um, they they have like mounts now. Some are flying well, or some yeah, shit. Yeah, the, the mounts like... I've I've played before. Um, they're super cool, um, but it's just always been. I mean, I'll probably play, I'll buy it and play it and whatnot. But like I, I loved every minute I played that game. If they the ever boys announced try the Guild Wars, Guild Wars, Guild Wars two. three, oh, oh, good night. I'm done. I will play. That's the only pretty much the only game I will play. But looking forward to. Um, girl, girl. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my life in like four or That's, five months. I don't months. know if we have enough time for that. <laughs> I, have like, I have like three to four months before the end of Wrath of the Lich. Yeah. And um, yeah, what am I going to do after that? Go outside. Mm. Hold on, we have what? How many, how many games have you not continued to play? There's Harry Potter for you. There's the Final Fantasy Crisis Core. Oh my um, god, dude! <laughs> there is. How many other games is there? There's countless number of games I have not beaten yet. I I, I don't even want to think about it to be honest. At this point, just, just it's too many. It. It's way too many. Yeah, it's like over a dozen games that I have downstairs that are incomplete. But if it has Resident Evil in the name, I finish it. Do you see that they actually just released a new uh, DLC for Resident Evil Four? Yes. And I'm I find yourself a gotcha. What'd you say? I just stand. Got to find yourself a gotcha. Get you a gotcha. Get you a uh, gotcha. You know the thing is, is that the, I just am like really sick of gotcha games. Like they just don't do it for me anymore. Because yeah, um, you done got. Because I got this. You got got. I got this. Got, got. No, I got the I got the cardboard crap. You got now. the real life. So gotcha. like I got the real gotcha <laughs> shit. So yeah. now, if I kept, if I were to want to like actually get a return on my my investment, at least I could get something for this, and it wouldn't be like impossible for me to do. Because when you're when you get a video game account, it's like yeah, you can sell it, but good luck, dude. Like you're definitely not going to get a get a return on your investment. But for no. this, mm-hmm. yes, I can get a decent return on your investment. Ish. Nah, I mean. I maybe I'm lucky, but so far I've I've gotten some pretty good cards. So, yeah, fair, All right. fair. Anything Speaking else? Of which, Anything new? I don't know. It's getting about that time, man. I might need to go open some more up right now. <laughs> uh, uh.
<laughs> well, make sure you follow Chef Prondo's adventure on the what? What is it that you have? What is it? Floor F-L-M- Advanced Pokemon. FLM Pokemon. Pokemart on TikTok. Okay. Just been making some fun little videos, you know. They're cute. They should be cute. There'll be many Danny? more of them to come. Yeah. I hope so. I enjoy them. I don't even have TikTok, and I'm watching a TikTok. Yeah, I gotta find the. uh, If you get me fucking stuck in the tick, like if I start TikTok because of you, I'm gonna be so fucking mad at you. I'm sorry. Yeah, which reminds me, we have to get the 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 the, the TikTok to actually release the ability to do podcasts now. So now I'm gonna have to put this podcast on TikTok. So there's that. So do it. Fun experiment. Do it. How we do it. So once I finish editing the last one from two weeks ago, Mm -hmm. then I'll do this. So now actually, now this is a, a fun thing where we can introduce a Patreon. No, I'm not good. There's too much work. I got we have a Patreon? Angry. We technically do have a Patreon, but now that we're like... No, but normally, someone's, someone's following it? I think or there's someone? like one person. There's a patron? There's one patron. It might be my mom. Yo, big shout it out to the single mom. patron. Let's go. That's says. amazing. It might be my mom, he says. I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could be Tom's mom. Don't know. She Tom's does not know mom. how to... Use. She If she... You think she knows what Patreon is? You think my mother definitely knows what not Patreon my mom. Is? Sorry, guys. Usually, yeah, if, if no I told way. my mom where it was, we would have to, but she does not. Dude, know my my is. parents still text me and end <clears throat> the text with "love mom" or "love dad." Like it's a letter. That's awesome. Every Cherish text. Dude. Cherish that shit. I mean, right now it's funny, you know. So I'll, I'll, I'm going to cherish it when one of them dies, but for now I'm going to make fun of them. You know, for sure. And even yeah. when they for die, sure. I'll probably as, make fun of as, them. As, as you should, as you should, yeah. as you should, yeah, yeah. as always, yeah. goober. But yeah. So, all right. Yeah, well, goob. I think we'll we can end it there. A little, 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 uh, little yeah. I see one, Josh so sweating over there. He's got to open some packs or something. Yeah, open some packs. He's got to you know, like- He's got to <laughs> play a song with his card <laughs> in Baldur's Gate Three. You know, we're gonna go from there. Hey, does anybody uh, wanna anybody wanna buy some vintage video games? I got a I got a Earthbound. It usually goes for three thousand. I'll sell it for like two hundred right now. I just I need yeah. liquidate cash, cash man. This is, this still all goes back to this SNL skit about beanie babies. Still about what about beanie, about babies. beanie beanie babies? Yeah. Oh, the beanie babies. <laughs> yeah, like your retirement a good plan. one. My baby, speaking of all. which, my mom does have like a pretty outrageous Beanie Baby collection that she always will tell me like, you know, <clears throat> some days is gonna be yours, Josh, and you can get so much money from it. And I'm like, you know, mom, I can't wait. Like, yeah, you know, like I, mean, I can't yeah, wait. Don't even like. I don't, can't don't wait. Tell her, I, don't, you know? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have the heart to tell her. Fuck that. Kidding me? Yep. I'm not gonna be the one to burst that bubble. I'll let some other Trump do it. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do it for us uh, this week. Thanks, for everyone, for coming out. Um, you can find us on Instagram at OG.podcast or Twitter is Overachievers P. Our website's OGpodcast.fm, where you get this episode and every episode where we talk about what we're playing, what we're looking forward to, and a little bit of gaming news sprinkled in with whatever else we... Whatever old dumb shit we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, it's fun, right? We're, we're yeah. It's fine. Everyone keeps listening. It's cool. Our listener count keeps going down. Okay. No, it's fine. Who cares? Um, so yeah, we, we do really this because we enjoy this, not because we try to get anything out of it, and we nope. enjoy the community. So if you want, you can come hang out with us. Video talk games. About, talk about us with video games, film stuff, whatever. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, go watch the uh, Welcome to Wrexham uh, documentary on FX or Disney Plus, because you might see me in one of the episodes. Hey. Oh. Maybe. Look at this guy. Maybe. Look cool at guy. this guy. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but I think it's the one's coming up soon. But anyway, uh, so anyway, catch you all later. Until the next time. Ciao, 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 ciao. Andiamo. No, wait, that's not what uh, was it? Uh, oh, you said Andiamo earlier, so it got me thinking about it. Yes, it's uh, Arrivederci. Ciao. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. If you're leaving for the evening to go home and go to bed, you say Buonanotte. Buonanotte. Buona notte. Or buona sera, which is well, but it's also it's good. That could be a hello or goodbye, and it's not yeah. as definitive as buona notte. Buona notte. But yeah, buona sera, buona sera, buona sera, buona sera. All right, now I'm really. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs>